Some people assume that God, as perceived in the faith of Islam, is a harsh, stern, cruel God, one who demands to be respected, worshipped, and obeyed fully, and is not loving and kind to his creation. Nothing could be further from the truth. God is all loving. In fact, he claims amongst his names Al Wadud in Arabic, the all loving. The love of God in the Qur'an is expressed and emphasized many times throughout his book. The entire universe and everything it contains are proof of Allah's love for his creation. He provided endless variety of foods, a vast array of lands and wildfire, the sun, the moon, the stars, family, offspring, and much more. Everything one sees, feels, hears, tastes, and smells are all form of blessings given to us by our Creator. He didn't have to do this, but he chose to bestow these blessings upon us. His unbounded mercy encompasses everything. On the other hand, God is also just. Hence, evildoers and sinners must be held accountable for their actions. God is holy, righteous, and fair. If he didn't impose a punishment for evil, he would be allowing that evil to exist without consequences. Since God cannot let that happen, His justice requires that a proper punishment be incurred and executed for evil sins. Although Allah is not answerable to anyone, He has promised nonetheless to be just and fair with everyone. God has an infinite number of names and has a special category of 99 names listed in the Quran and teachings of the Prophet Muhammad. Of His names is the ever merciful, the forgiving, the loving, the nourisher, the sustainer, the compassionate, the exalter, the just, the great, the protector, the caregiver, the ever-living, the powerful, the first, the last, the pardoner, the light, the supporter, the eternal, the preserver, the wise, the originator, and the one who gives life and resurrects. God has perfect attributes. He has limitless and infinite hearing, vision, mercy, love. God is very near. He sees and knows every aspect of his creations. He hears every word that is uttered. He is knowledgeable of one's inner thoughts. God knows all our dreams, secrets, desires, and wishes. Nothing is hidden from him.